this is so not meant to happen. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to One Life. First of all, I have a shocking announcement to make. Last episode, I found a magical cave of unlimited diamonds. And it was almost too good to be true. In fact, it was too good to be true. It was a prank. And it worked because some of the players on the server actually went looking for it. Okay, so this pasture's got a massive ravine, but this isn't it. I'm so confused at to where Lizzie's magic ravine is. Look at her video, it was here. How is she heading it this well? According to her video, this is right where her structure should be. Okay, I'm losing my mind. I'm done. You win, Lizzie. You get to keep all of the diamonds. But none of them were able to find it. And that's because it's not real. Or at least not on this server anyway. It's in a single player world. So unfortunately, the Cave of Wonders is not real. But what is real, however, is my desire to own a fairy horse. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we start breeding the horses, we need a place for them to live. Of course, I want them to live here in Lavender Land with me. So perhaps over here, we can build a nice big stable that is going to house all of them. One eternity later. Here it is, my brand new stable, my horsey house, my pony apartments, my stallion sanctum. Okay, that one's weird. <laughs> so as you can see, we have five separate stalls here to keep the horses in. And currently we have zero horses. So perhaps it's time to go out and tame a wild one. Three days later. I have looked everywhere and I cannot find a single horse. The next day. I still can't find a horse. One eternity later. There it is. A wild horse. So all we need to do is jump on and then ride him until he loves me. Yes. Now I shall call him Hoofbert. And he shall be first in the line of many beautiful horses in my stables. But before we can father any children with Hoofbert, he needs a mate, a horse wife, a pony partner, a stallion companion. Okay, I'm gonna stop, I promise. So let's get him in here. I'll be right back with your perfect match, Hoofbert. So this time, let's take Bear, because I need a good aerial view of all the potential horses. Oh, hang on. <gasps> there is a horse. This one's perfect. Let's get a saddle on her. And tame her as well. Oh my gosh, why is she floating? Oh no, what the heck is happening? This is so not meant to happen. <gasps> I nearly died. That horse almost killed me. I love her. This is the most dangerous horse taming mission I've ever done. Oh, here we go. Yes. Now I want to call her Hermione because she's magical and also nay. Perfect. I love her so much. Now, let's make sure we don't leave Bear behind because I kind of flew away on a horse. So to get him home, I'm gonna put him in this pet amulet and we can release him at a later date. Oh, Hoofbert, I'm home. And boy, do I have a feisty one for you. I'm gonna put her in the stall next door so they can get to know each other a little bit. Okay, so we got Hoofbert and Hermione, but it turns out horse breeding is really complicated. I feel like I need a degree in horse engineering to figure this out, but it looks like we're gonna need a lot more horses. You know what that means? I'm going back out on the search for the elusive horses. Three days later. Okay, so it has been literally three real life days. Now this might look like I have a load of horses here, but what I see is all of my failed experiments. As you can see, none of these are fairy horses, which means we still have to do some breeding, but I think I figured it out. So over here, I have isolated the breeding pair, a black Minecraft horse and this funky looking Mo Creatures horse. Yeah, I kind of ran out of names for the horses. So I started naming them after random things. But I think if we breed these two together, we will get a tier four horse, or as I like to call it, a god horse. And when this baby god horse pops out, it will be the answer to all of my prayers because I need to be riding a tier four horse in order to tame a zebra. And we need zebras to make zorses. And we need a zorse to make a pegasus or a unicorn or a nightmare horse. Basically, zebras are really important somehow. I don't understand it either, but I think I know what I'm doing. The god horse has arrived. There he is, he's so tiny. Now this has taken a while, so it's time to speed things up. Let's speed up your growth. And now we can saddle him up 
And now we can take this godly stallion out to look for a zebra. There should be one just outside here. There he is, right outside my house. He's been taunting me this entire time. And now I can finally tame him. <laughs> So I have to offer him an apple from the saddle of my god horse and he will be impressed and love me. Yes! I'm gonna call him Zebra Luya. And now we can choose who to breed Zebra Luya with to make a Zoss. I'm gonna take Pascal. He hasn't had any action for a while. You two lovebirds have fun now, okay? Make me a Zoss! And now we wait again. It has arrived, the birth of the Zoss. I'm gonna call this one Lady Zosslia. And she is beautiful. Oh, let's see if we can fatten her up a little bit. Nice and big. And now that we have a Zoss, the real experimentations begin. We need to mutate the Zoss by giving it an essence. Now, there are three essences. We could give it an essence of darkness to turn it into a bat horse, an essence of fire to turn it into a nightmare horse, an essence of undead to turn it into a zombie horse, and we need the essence of light to turn a nightmare horse into a unicorn or a bat horse into a pegasus. Let's see if we have any of the hearts. I have not got any of them. What? I thought I had some. Oh no, I do. Here we go, heart fire. So let's start with the essence of fire. Boom. Okay, this feels kind of dangerous. I just hope this doesn't go wrong and kill Lady Zoslia. Lady Zoslia becomes the nightmare horse. <gasps> wow. Dang, girl. Now, apparently, if we use a whip on her, she will leave behind a trail of fire. But I don't want to grief my own house, so... No whips shall be used today. Well, Lady Zoslia the Nightmare Horse was a success, but before we can make a bat horse or an undead horse, I need hearts. A heart of darkness or a heart of undead. So when the sun goes down, we are going out to kill some things. Finally, the night is upon us. It's time for me to stalk my prey. I have looting two on my sword, so hopefully we'll be able to get quite a few of the hearts. Oh, there's a skeleton horse that might drop a heart of the undead. Come back here. It didn't, but it coulda. There's a zombie horse. What the heck, a slime flew out of it. But no heart. Give me a heart. Yes, I got one, but we need more. No, the sun's coming up and I didn't even find one heart of darkness. But maybe Joel will be interested in trading some hearts with me if I promise him a fairy horse in the near future. Because one essence of undead is not enough to even make one fairy horse. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that actual lava? That is terrifying. Oh wow, he's got seven hearts of darkness and one heart of undead. So now I can make a couple of these Essence of Darkness. And now I'm going to create a bat horse by taking the newly born Lord Zorsen and giving him the Essence of Darkness. Whoa, here he goes. Oh my gosh, he is so a Lord Zorsen. <laughs> That name fits perfectly and we can fly around on him. Yes, I mean, it's kind of the same as flying around on bear, but just a little bit more demonic. So we need to keep breeding sauces and soon my collection will be complete. So this one is eventually going to become a unicorn. So I'm gonna call her Ophelia. So I'm gonna need to combine the essences to make an essence of light, turn her into a nightmare horse first. Oh, Ophelia, you're just not feeling yourself right now. Quick, have an essence of light. <gasps> Here she goes. Yes! Oh, darling, you look so much better. Now, let's get you away from this nasty Lady Zorslia. Oh my gosh, I'm so weird. <laughs> now, the good news is it's a blood moon, which means I can go out and get more hearts because I almost ran out already. So we take to the skies and slay everything in my way. Here we go, double whammy. I'm not even scared of the blood moon. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm scared of these ogres though. This is a bad idea. Oh no, 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 no. Everything wants to kill me. Hulk smash. Lizzie kill. Yikes, what just hit me? Oh, it's a manticore. I didn't know they were so deadly. What if I die? Oh my gosh, I might actually die. I am scared of the blood moon. I lied. I went down to half my hearts. Oh, this fairy horse business is dangerous. 
Okay, things are getting a little bit desperate. I'm trying to trade with people to get the hearts. And Jack has offered me a trade which I cannot resist. He said I can have two of each of the hearts if we can dance in the skies with our flying pets together. So this sounds like the easiest trade ever. I'm just gonna jump on Lord Zorsen and take to the skies. Oh look, here he comes. Whoa, what is that? He has a wyvern? Where'd he get a wyvern from? And I thought my bat horse was cool. Let's loop through the rainbow. Ow, that hurt quite a bit, but he was impressed. And that's all that matters. Oh no, he wants me to jump off into the water. I'm gonna do it. Oh look, he comes down. I think he wants to kill me. I don't feel safe. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <gasps> that was such a satisfying plop. Wait, hang on. He stole my bat horse. Well, I am going to steal his wyvern. Edna, you're mine now. Oh my gosh, it's fast. Oh my gosh, what if I flew it into the nether? I wouldn't dare. Oh no, it's raining. Party's over. Bring my bat horse down before I get struck by lightning. He gave me the hearts. Worth it. Now I think we can make a fairy horse. So now that we have the essences, we just need to change Lord Zorsen into a Pegasus. And to do so, we need to give him an essence of light above cloud level. So let's take him to the Alps because we need to be up at this height. Oh no, even this isn't high enough. We need to build up. Okay, there may be a blood moon coming, but that's not gonna stop me. Let's get Lord Zorsen out and begin the transformation. <gasps> oh Lord, you look great. Let's get you home to your Lady Ophelia. Here she is. Now to breed these two together, we use Essence of Light and we leave them to do their thing. It's here, the first ever fairy. <gasps> And Ophelia and Lord Zorsen were lost, but a fairy was born. And it's super cute and all, but we can make it even cuter by dyeing it. There are a variety of colors to choose from, and I just can't decide. I'm gonna dye this one green for Joel, and he can have the first ever fairy horse of this world, because I love him and I want to marry him. And I will make one next time, but I need some help deciding which color to make. So please leave a comment below or vote on the poll. Don't forget to like this video, and I will see you next time.